John Shagnon, PCS Outdoors. I'm here with Joe from Night Eye Products, and we carry a lot of predator hunting and a lot of coon hunting, and uh, obviously trapping supplies, and we're at the 2015 National Trapping Convention, and this is our pick of the year from the hundreds of vendors here for the uh, predator hunting and coon hunting product that that might interest in. Joe's been in communication with me, showing samples, and we finally took the commitment. We were glad that, you know, I didn't want to rush Joe in it, and, and Joe wasn't pushy with me, and he's just got a wonderful product when we were able to sit down and look at it. And Andrew, my cameraman, spent some time with him, so we got some education so we can support that product, and we feel confident Joe will help us support it. You should see some of this product uh, here in the next several weeks uh, uh, on our website at pcsoutdoors.com. I'll let Joe tell you how you can buy direct and more customer services and tell you a little bit about the product. All right. Good. Well, thank you, John, first of all, for uh, taking us aboard and being one of our distributors. I'm, I'm very glad much you had us. It's appreciated. Yeah. Um, Night Eye's been in business now for three years and we're constantly oh. coming up with new product for the Predator Hunters. And, uh, you know, we have. Uh, Our first uh, light is our uh, headlamp. Uh, it's a single beam headlamp. Uh, it has adjustable brightnesses on it, which is great. You can adjust the brightness anywhere from 10% uh, up to 100%. Have it locked into memory, so when you're scanning for that predator, you know, you'll be able to see its eyes. 40-50%, uh, you'll be able to see their eyes at 300 yards. Follow their eyes coming in. Once they get close enough, you can transition from the, uh, the headlamp. You can transition to our gun light. Uh, this is the camo version of our gun light. We do have it in black. Uh, for a few extra dollars, you can get the camo version. Then you just transition to the, to the gun light. We have a pressure switch. You just activate the pressure switch, look through the scope, and it's going to be lined up every single time. When you mount this, it takes about uh, 15 seconds to mount this. Uh, we secure the pressure switch with some type of tape or some type of cling wrap. And what that does is that holds it into place. Uh, our pressure switch for our light, our um, dual mode, you push the center of it, it activates the light, and when you push, take your thumb off, it goes off. When you push the end of it, it stays on until you push it again. Uh, the neat thing about our switches is they're completely waterproof. Our lights are waterproof. They're also silent. So if you do have a predator that approaches and comes sneaks up on you, he's out there 20 yards, and you activate your light, you're not going to spook the predator by the clicking because there is no clicking. It's completely silent. Um, it's a difference when you have a predator right next to you or any other one yeah. after that. Yeah. that. Your heart's already going and pounding, so yeah. Yeah, you don't need uh, any other distraction. It's also wonderful. It's pretty simple. That's what sold me. You've got a quality product, waterproof, and simple operation. Yeah, it's simple. Installation, but effective. I mean, it's, it stands up to any other products that we can uh, market or something we can control. Yeah. We have a halo shield that comes with our kit. It's attached. Uh, you can detach it if you'd like. Uh, it takes the glare off the barrel of your gun, and it also uh, helps from the feedback of the, the glare coming back in your scope and getting a red tinge. So they really are beneficial. So we added that last year. Uh, the other thing we just added to our line of uh, predator hunting lights is um, our dual beam. And I forgot to mention that our headlamp does have a halo shield for it also. This is what it looks like without, as I just showed you. And then you just add the halo shield and it keeps that light from spilling out from the side and lighting up your partner, your equipment, and it more focuses it on where you need it to go you know, towards your predator. Um, we just came out with this one. It's exactly like the light I just showed you. Um, it takes one battery, rechargeable battery. You can recharge the batteries hundreds and hundreds of times. They're lithium ion batteries. We have the halo shield that attaches to this one. And this is exactly like the other one. The only difference is it has white in the beam. It also will switch into red. So you have your choice of white or red, um, which makes the uh, user friendly. And if you wound an animal, you can always go to white and track them. And it does have a different brightness mode. And all these several products use the same battery, same charging. All of our products use the exact same battery. So pretty much get yourself an extra spare battery and you're going to hunt off. Yep. 
Yeah, still one break. other mic, as you mentioned. Right, hold that here. Please report back to the FBU booth and pick up your right. Out this one, too, uh, last year. It uses the same battery, but it takes two of them because it puts out such a high wattage of light. Um, 1,800 lumens in this little thing, and it's, uh, uh, I won't shine it at the camera, but I'll just kind of give you an idea how bright this thing is. I'm going to shine it at my hand. Uh, you'll see that it's crazy bright. That is it's really a, bright. It's about as bright as the high beam of a, a pickup truck. Um, you can adjust the brightness on these, so you can adjust it down. We also have a. That's got to light up a, a big pine tree where you can actually see the body of the coon right Absolutely. on top of a big uh, white pine. Huh? We have several coon hunters that have already called me and said that uh, that they really love this light. It's 10 ounces in weight, uh, just a little. Well, that's a long ways. Ones. What were those? One battery for that as a kid in the 70s. Oh, the, the night, uh, nine, battery. Nine volts, not even before night light. We used to hold the light on top of a wall. Hold it with one arm and then hold the hand up, and there was no rechargeable. That was a yep, battery. Yeah, that's right. Cost a lot of money, and uh, this is very affordable and twice as bright. Yep. And then if you if the um, user chooses, they can buy a flip cover. Uh, we have them in red, green, and amber, and it changes the light from the, the dual white from white to uh, red uh, or whatever color you have. And then when you're not using it, you just want to flip it up. It just flips up and stays right on the light. And these are completely adjustable, just like our other headlights are. And they all use the same battery as, as we stated. So. Nice, Tom. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks, John. Appreciate yeah. it.